Hi, welcome back to another reading. So this is gonna be messages from your ancestors and I'm only connecting with the ancestors of light, okay? So take whatever resonates. And of course, it's very, very general. The most important message that show up for, um, the most important message is gonna show up for the people who need to hear it. I already set the intention for it to find the right people as well. So I'm gonna just ask what it is that you guys could, could be needing to know from the ancestors. What does the ancestors want the collective to hear right now? Okay, so caregiver coming out and support. So I feel like for some people, you may feel like you're not being supported, but it's like your ancestors, your ancestors are showing up as your caregiver. So it's like, even though you may not have physical support around you, it's like they're right there. It's like they're holding your hand. Yeah, something about the hands could be significant too. Someone has healing hands. Not really sure who needs to hear that, but it's like you have healing hands. Let me see. Or somebody's ancestor had healing hands. They could have transitioned. Yeah, I feel like someone's ancestor was a healer, but they could have been very good with their hands. It's given like a grandmother type of energy. That's what it feels like. But yeah. Um, what else are they needing to hear from the ancestors? What else does the collective need to hear from the ancestors? Okay, that was like one too many cards. What does the collective need to hear from the ancestors? So we got actor showing up and we got explorer showing up. It says adventure, um, actor, performer coming out. Not really sure if someone's trying to explore like the entertainment industry. Like you could be wanting to be an actor or an actress or you could be already that. And your ancestors are definitely supporting you. It's like they be holding your hand when you on stage or performing. So it's like they are um, protecting you as well. I'm not sure who needed to hear that. But also too, I'm seeing it to where um, Somebody's putting up a facade, basically. It's like they're they're wearing a mask. They're not, um, it's like the way you see them, that's not who they are. But it could be in regards to like someone, like a support, like someone could be basically faking, like they're supporting you, but they're not. Yeah, it's like they got their good face on, but deep down inside, it's like, no, they're not a supporter. So they're showing up as an actor or actress. And also, too, I'm seeing this energy to where somebody's faking like they want to support you. Um, like they could be saying like they want to support you or help you, but they're actually wearing a mask. What else are they needing to hear right now? Oh, and you know what I just got? Because you know how um, like right before somebody gets on stage... Cause I feel like somebody could be like actually like a performer, like they be on stage, but it's not given like music. I don't feel like they're a singer or like a rapper or nothing. This is somebody who um they could play different characters. They could be faking like they are supporting you or they they were supportive, but they were actually fake. Like seriously, it's like they really living up to their their role or whatever. Or like what they do they're really good at acting or something of that sort it's like wow and it's giving um oh i was going to say oh i don't know what it is it's a bug on the window but you know how like right before um somebody gets on stage and they be like break a leg and sometimes people really do be meaning that i don't see how that is like a some like a a saying or like a phrase for support it's like what what you mean break a leg that's what it seemed like. It's like they don't wish you well. Like they actually want to see you like not do well or like not perform well or something of that sort. So, mm -hmm. what else are they needing to see here right now? This person could be showing up as a fake friend too. Look, we got master DNA um, adaptation showing up here. And then we got holy one inspiration showing up. So 
from what's coming out here, it's like, um, I feel like for some people, there could be some type of situation here to where it's like you just naturally gifted, naturally talented, right? But for some reason, it's like you got people in your energy. And this was showing up in the um, read that I posted yesterday, y'all. Um, it's like people could be showing up as like being supportive, but really they're not. But it's like they see that you're super talented, um, super gifted. It's in you, not on you, okay? It's like you're super inspirational. But for whatever reason, it's like... I don't know, they act that funny. That's what it seemed like. But anyway, what else are they needing to hear right now? What does the collective need to hear from the ancestors? Thank you. So communication is coming out and it says messages. And then we got water coming out flow. So I see here where there could be some messages coming in. Communication is definitely significant. It's like you could be the communicator or somebody else in your energy is showing up as the communicator. But either way, I feel like your ancestors are communicating with you when it comes towards this situation. It's like you're receiving messages about this situation. And um, the way it's coming out here, it's like something could have been lost, y'all. Because it's showing up where it's like this could be something very valuable. It looks like this bird um found like a lost necklace or a piece of jewelry it doesn't have to be that specifically but something was lost and it's like the ancestors are helping you to receive um this message about something that has been lost or something that's what it looks like what else are they need to see here from the ancestors So animal coming out, there's a need to trust your instincts. And it says instinct on it, but it has animal on it. Yeah, trust your instincts when it comes towards like situations, even when it deals with like messages, communication coming from um, other people. Because sometimes people will um, say certain things. It could, through, it could be through like messages or um, actual like vocal communication, like them actually talking to you. But it's like almost like it's like a hidden meaning behind what they saying. It's almost like somebody trying to disguise um, how they really feel about you or about something that it is that you're doing. It's like they try to disguise it as a joke. It's like, no, that's how they really feel. It's like truth behind every joke. So let me see what else comes out. What else are they needing to hear right now? Oh. But we got magician coming out, conjuring, showing up. It looks like you're manifesting. You're showing up as somebody who's very powerful, okay? Um, and then we got mentor, coach coming out here as well. For some people, you could actually be a mentor when it comes towards like spirituality or not really sure if somebody's like, but I don't feel like it's in a ne like a, a negative type of way. It's like you're not out here um, teaching people how to hurt people when it comes towards like spell work or whatever. But I do feel like you could be somewhat of like a, co a coach or a mentor when it comes towards like manifesting with the magician card. It's like you teaching other people how to conjure up some things and people could be watching you as well. Because for some reason I'm seeing this person like even though it don't look like they're on a stage, but it look like low key they are. Oh, and I see the evil. This person's wearing the evil eye. It's not like it don't show it, y'all, but I see it on here. The necklace. If you got these cards, then you'll be able to see it clearly. But it looks like she has an evil eye necklace on, but it looks like it's several different, like several pendants, almost like a um, like a chain, but it has several evil eye um pendants on it. That's what it looks like. So it's giving return to sender, okay. Yeah, it's like you returning all this negative energy back to the sender, okay? That's what it's looking like. Give me some more insight on this. Yeah, for some people, somebody could have been trying to um, basically send negative energy uh, when it comes towards like your endeavors or something that it is that you're doing.
and downloads could be significant too i'm not really sure if i had mentioned that but it's like you could be receiving downloads but it kind of looks like here it's like almost whoever was being fake or putting on this facade they was not ready they ain't know they didn't know that you was connected to your ancestors okay and you was gonna find out about um the truth about a situation give me some more insight here Oh, and you could be a master manifester too. Um, fun fact, I'm a master manifester, okay? But <laughs> some of y'all out, you could be a master manifester. It's basically like the human design. You can look it up if you need to. But you got to put in your... Um, it's not like a birth um, chart thing, but um, you can look up a... Just look up human design because there's like different sites to where you can actually find out but some of them sites of course you know they be wanting money like if you want deeper insight on it but you ain't really got to do all that because you can actually look up each one like you can go on youtube there's like literally people who make videos on like each one so you can get more information that way that's just a tip that's if you're interested in it what else are they need to see here from the ancestors and that could be confirmation for some people too to look more to look more to in your human design because the way it's coming out here it's like you could be a master manifester and not even realize it there's like other ones too but i just know that one because that's like what i am but um i do feel like i think it is like where you may have like a certain percentage of the other ones but that was like what mine was showing but um you could be wanting to look more into that because it's almost like you could be walking around here um not knowing that you're a master manifester that you do have the power to create things to um because a master manifester does not have to wait for somebody they don't need an invite to to create something or to start something so what else are they needing to hear right now and also too i was i um I found out that sometimes when you are a master manifester, when you don't have to ask permission or you don't need an invite to create something, it causes a lot of hate because it's like people may feel offended or something because you didn't tell them what you were about to do. Um, but you got to look deeper into it. But yeah, I had found that out and I was like, wow, that's very, very interesting. It's like, wow. Um, the lighting, because the sun just came out like super bright i'm trying to fix the lighting on here let me see because the sun is like beaming right on the side of my face what else are they need to see here right now from the ancestors what else does the collective need to hear from the ancestors so we got father coming out so um, a father figure could be significant. We got authority coming out here as well. Oh, you know what, y'all? I had started this read, right? And I was 20 minutes in, but I ended up ending it. Because like, and this this was the part where I was getting confused at. Because the same message is showing up. But it was given like, he's like, um, you're the father. Like, seriously. <laughs> like a paternity test could be significant. But for some people, you may have some type of... um. There could be confirmation coming in on like the father of someone's child or something or somebody being a father but it was given like you are the father okay <laughs> that's what it was showing i don't know what that's about but yeah give me some more insight here yeah and then this dna coming out too showing up so for some people there could be confirmation but i don't feel like it's a messy situation it's not like oh somebody got like several um several um potential guys that could be the father it's not giving a maury type of vibes y'all none of that stuff but i'm talking about a situation to where um like you and another person um intertwining y'all dna or whatever that's what it seemed like but it, there could be confirmation on like the, who the father is like an emperor energy with this authority card coming out y'all the sun like beaming a little too hard hold on let me see give me some more insight for the collective what else are they need to see here right now what else are they need to see here right now 
thank you. So we got a writer coming out and words showing up too. Somebody could be experiencing like writer's block, but it's almost like not really knowing what to say. That's what it looks like. But something in regards to like written words, like somebody um trying to find the, the right words to say could be significant as well. What else are they needing to hear? Oh, something in regards to like someone being solid, but when it comes towards like doing what it is that they say they're going to do, it's like kind of like a great example of somebody like a, a male being like a father figure. It's not like a, um, and this may, hopefully this don't like trigger nobody or like, I don't know. Cause I don't want to like, um, I mean, this is like real life or whatever, like things like this do be happening, but you may have like a father figure in your life to where... Um, it's almost like a father saying they're going to pick a child up and it's like they never show up. So that means they didn't keep their word. Like they wasn't solid basically. But in this case, um, it looks like a male energy, a father figure is showing up to where it's like they keep their word. They spend time with their children, their kids. Yeah. And it's like what they say they're going to do, they're going to do it. So that's what's showing up. Give me some more insight here. And I do feel like too, something in regards to like the type of words that um that someone says, it could be like verbal abuse, cause that is a thing. Um, it just shows where it's like, they're not a good example of a, like being a father. And they could be putting on this facade too. That could be confirmation for some people as well. But um, it's like, you'll know if somebody is really solid based off the words that they use, but then also to the actions that they're doing. Cause people can talk all day and say, they are gonna do this, they are gonna do that. But if they don't ever do it, that means they not solid. They not, you know, they just talking. Give me some more insight here for the collective. What else are they need to hear from the ancestors? So I do feel like for a lot of people, you could be healing that issue. That's only if you were, if you are going through that, it's like um, a masculine energy or somebody who played, um, who has like a, I don't want to say authority, but like just a masculine energy to where it's like, they don't keep in, they don't keep their word. They're not solid. So I feel like you could be healing that aspect or breaking that pattern to um, when it comes towards, you know, family, children, a child or whatever. Give me some more insight here for the collective from the ancestors. What else are they need to hear from the ancestors, please? So look, we got healer. And so this is confirmation on what I just said. See, you, you're healing from that. It's like if you never, I feel like someone could be a feminine energy, but it could be masculine too. Um, there has been some issues with the males or like, you know, a father figure. It's like they didn't really show up. It's like they did a lot of talking, but they didn't really show up. They weren't solid in your life. So yeah, and look, it's like you you chose to lead yourself. It's like you're showing up as a ruler, a leader. And it's almost like if you, if you ever have experienced that, it actually teaches you to become a better person. If you don't have like a father figure in your life, um, it could be like a mother figure, father figure, but it's like based off that experience, um, it, it allows you, well, it teaches you to become more so like a leader or, um, yeah, there was something else I wanted to say, but what else I didn't need to hear right now? Okay. These cars just like flying out little mentor coach and we got innocent. So innocent purity is showing up here too. So yeah. I see like a good role model when it comes towards like a mentor or a coach, even when it comes towards like um, children with this innocent energy. So yeah, it's like um, children need like a, a stable or like somebody solid in their life, not somebody telling them like, oh, I'm gonna show up, but it's like they never show up. So it's like, you can't even depend on the person. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, cause it kind of looks like possibly a, a father figure or a masculine energy um trying to see their kid or wanting to see their kid but it's like they don't even really they don't really have like a close connection with their kid because like they ain't really been showing up in their life so yeah 
and it, it's a lot that it's a lot that goes with that but i'm not even about to get into that but i do feel strongly it's like a male energy that did not make the effort towards being in a child's life so it's like your ancestors could be guiding you towards um or like basically um helping you to overcome these experiences or having to heal from this so I'm actually in the read here, y'all, because my look, it's getting hot. So thank y'all very, very much for watching.